Well, I think, I think that mutation analysis at the present time is, is defining a very large population of patients. I think the use of EZH2 inhibitors, uh, histone methyl transferases, are particularly exciting. They, they occur about 25% of patients have mutation. And in follicular lymphoma, the existing phase 2 data would actually suggest that if you have a mutation, uh, you're more likely to respond to these particular treatments. I think the, the jury is out in relationship to whether these EZH2 mutations identify the best group of patients. And are we essentially treating the, the, the best group of patients uh, who have these EZH2 mutations who are currently doing very well under the current standard of care? I think that there's a lot of new data, uh, several new publications. You know, when you, when you think that we now have probably over 1,500 cases of diffused large B-cell lymphoma where we've got whole exome sequencing data, it's providing kind of a, you know, a treasure trove of information that we can delve into and see whether, say, the GCB type and the ABC type, and not only that they're different entities in their own right, but specific mutations within the GCB group might identify poorest patients within those entities. And so I think we're very much kind of still scratching the surface, but I think we can be optimistic that, that with the right combinations of therapy, and, and I think hard work on behalf of the, the clinical trialists, collecting, in, collecting samples as part of clinical trials, we can start thinking about what are the best combinations to treat individuals or groups of patients.